June 29th, and welcome to episode 12 of Knits and Stuff. My name is Alicia, also known as Eliana Knits on Ravelry, and today we'll be talking about events and alongs, finished objects, works in progress, pretty things, local delights, and wibbly wobbly timey wimey. So, um, first, welcome to those of you that are new, and thanks for watching, um, and thanks for returning watchers. Uh, if you haven't already, there is a group on Ravelry that you can join. It's called the Knits and Stuff Podcast, and I will put a link to that in the show notes. You can find the show notes at knitsandstuff.wordpress.com. So, let's get started. Um, events and alongs. There is um, Stash Dash is going on right now which is uh, an event put on by the Knit Girls, and the goal is to knit or spin or weave or use up 5,000 meters of yarn. And that started May 23rd, and that's going until August 7th, so I finally have a post up on their site, um, up on their message boards on Ravelry, and I think I'm at just under a thousand meters right now, or just under a thousand yards, sorry. It's about, it's a little more than um, 5,000 yards, like 5,500 or something, around that. <laughs> and um, so I'm a little over, or a little under a thousand yards. And um, yeah, so that's Stash Dash. And then coming up soon, really soon, is True to Fleece. Um, so I think I will be spinning, um, I'm hoping to spin up a fleece, or part of a fleece, enough to make a sweater, but the weather here lately is kind of, I don't even want to think about it right now. <laughs> it's really warm here right now. So, um, but I've also, um, looked at some of my stash fiber, and I kind of want to spin some of that too. So... We'll see. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but um, hopefully I can at least put a dent in my fleece and um, at least come up with how I want to spin that for a sweater. So that's events and alongs, um, which means we can move on to finished objects, which I finally have some. Um, so I finished the Oats Cowl by Tin Can Knits and... Um, it's a free pattern on Ravelry, and um, I knit this in Malabrigo worsted in the colorway Milanza, and it is, um, it was on US 8's 5.5 milliliter, milliliters, <laughs> millimeters, <laughs> and um, yeah, I knit it, it used um, probably about two-thirds of the skein of Malabrigo, and um, it's the short size, short adult size. So it comes in three different sizes. It's a child size, um, the short adult, and then the long adult, and the long one you can double up. And I'm not going to put this on because it's really warm. <laughs> but um, that's the finished cowl. And then I also finished some hand spun. So I finished the um, Pigeon Roof Studios BFL Roving, which I spun up on my ladybug and two ply. And it's still wet, so I have <laughs> some hangers to dry. But, um, I finished up this, spinning this up, and, um, I had two, two braids that were about four ounces each, so I spun both of those up as singles, and then I applied them together to make a two-ply yarn, and, of course, one of them had more than the other, so I also got a little mini skein, which is already dry, so, um, that's that and this is yeah so that's BFL oh and the colorway is tourmaline and yeah that's that's all of that that's my um, finished objects so finally have some hand spun done and works in progress um, I am still working on the vanilla sock by Jasmine from the Nick Moore Girls, and I'm knitting these on US 1's um, 2.25 milliliters, and the yarn is Intrepid Otter Stripes in Garden Walk. I think last time I had only 
had up to part of the ribbing. So I've made some progress on it. This is my purse knitting. I bring it with me when I'm, um, when I go to lunch or when I'm at work and take a lunch break and I'll work on it. So it's gotten some progress. Um, and, oh, and this is, the colorway is Garden Walk also. And, um, and I'm knitting a size with 60 stitches around and instead of the 56 that it calls for. And I already finished one sock, which I think I showed last time. So that's one sock done. But working, slowly working on that. And I'm also working on the nice ribbed sock. I'm still on the first one, but I've also made some good progress on, um, this is the nice rib sock by Glenna C. It's out of, um, Noro Tayo sock in the colorway 45S. <laughs> and I'm knitting these on my signature needles, also size ones, 2.25 milliliters, millimeters. And I probably knit about this much since the last time I showed these, I think. So, um, I'm also incorporating the Fish Lips Kiss Heel on this one. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm liking the new colors that are coming up. I really like this brownish gray. Um, so, that's that. And, oh, yeah, and these are in, this is in my Needle Run Through, Needle Runs Through It bag. And this sock is in, um, the Silver Shed Fox bag. So... And I'm also working on um, the Twigs and Willows cardigan, which I finally picked up again, but I haven't made that much progress on. <laughs> and um, if I can find it. Oh. And that's in the bag that my that Garnet made for me, one of my friends. And um, so this is the Twigs and Willows cardigan from um, Botanical Knits by Alana Dacos. And I'm just on the ribbing on the sleeve. And I was about this far last time I showed this. <laughs> so now I'm a little bit further. Um, I've started increasing for the sleeve. So slowly working on that. And these are on US 7s, 4.5 milliliters, uh, millimeters. I keep saying milliliters. <laughs> and I'm knitting it in Madeline Tosh DK in the colorway Night Bloom. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all all my works in progress. I kind of want to cast something else on um, out of one of the other um, yarns that I bought when I was in Oregon, but I haven't done that yet, I think, because it's been too warm. <laughs> so, pretty things. Um, I bought, I caught an update from Lollipop Yarn, and I really wanted to catch it because I saw this color in her sneak preview, and it was really pretty when it was knit up and I was like I have to have that. So I he caught her update and I managed to snag a skein of her um, 7525 um, merino or wool nylon sock yarn. There's her card. And it's in the colorway, let's see, it's in the colorway smile and um, and let me, and it's in this cute little packaging. Um, and then I will take this out. So it's stripey yarn, clearly. And <laughs> look at all those colors. They're so bright and very much, they very much scream summer. So I'm excited for this. I'll probably cast this on soon. <laughs> so that is my pretty things. Um, I'm just blowing through this today. <laughs> let me focus that. Okay, so that is Pretty Things, which would bring me to Local Delights. Um, a couple weekends ago, Will and I went up to um, the Mount Tam State Park, slash Jensen Beach, slash Marin Headlands, that area. <laughs> and um, we took a hike down from the Pantole Campground, um, down the Dipsy Trail, and then ate our lunch at Simpson Beach and then walked back up um, or hiked back up the steep ravine trail and it was a really tough hike <laughs> at least for me it was uphill on the way back which because we had done 
we did downhill first and then uphill on the way back so that was difficult <laughs> especially after eating lunch but um yeah it was nice we got to sit on the beach um it was a little windy and a little foggy but that's pretty much expected for <laughs> this time of year and but the weather in the um hike was really nice uh it wasn't too warm but the sun was out and um there were there was one race going on <laughs> also um that went it was the double dipsy race that um i guess goes to through the dipsy trail twice so we saw a lot of runners when we were hiking and then on the way back um the steep ravine trail was really nice because it runs along the creek I, I think i like that one better than the dipsy trail so um if you're out in that area and are looking for a hike that's a, a good one to go on. Um, although on the Steep Ravine Trail from the area that we went to, um, there is a ladder that you have to go up or down depending on which direction you're going. So it's a pretty easy ladder, but it's, <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, it's a ladder. That's crazy. Or I don't know. It's not really that crazy, but <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, so that was what we did the other week and um, it was a good, good place to go for a hike. Um, it was nice, a nice drive out there. It wasn't too far. Um, if you're not from the area, the Marin Headlands is north of San Francisco on the opposite side of the Golden Gate Bridge. So it's really pretty up there. Um, and yeah, if you're in the area looking for a hike, you should go out and uh, try the Dipsy Trail or the Steep Ravine one. And as long as you can go up and down a ladder. <laughs> so that is Local Delights. So now it's time for Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey. Um, there is some good news and some bad news today. So um, good news first, I guess. <laughs> um, Doctor Who is starting back up on August 23rd. They finally announced the date and they released another trailer or sneak peek. Um, teaser trailer, I guess it is. So that's exciting, um, but shortly after, I found out that there will not be a panel at Comic-Con this year for Doctor Who. It was really sad because that's one of the main reasons that I go to Comic-Con is to see the Doctor Who panel, or at least that's, what, that's why I, I've been camping out Saturday night <laughs> to wait in line for Hall H and then... Um, see the Doctor Who panel. So there's not going to be one this year. Um, there will still be a booth there, um, but no panel. And I think they they had said that um, they're, since they're doing the world world tour, um, they're going to New York. I think shortly after Comic Con, so they didn't have time in their schedule to make a stop by San Diego. So darn. Hopefully next year. Um, yeah, they're still going to have a booth there. I'll probably still buy stuff from that is Doctor Who merchandise. Um, but no actual panel and probably also no autographs or special guests there. At least from the current, um, current series. So, it's too bad. Um, but in other Doctor Who relatedness, uh, I saw a video the other day on YouTube of um, Neil deGrasse Tyson. And talking about the concept of time that I thought was really interesting because they the question that they gave him had three examples of time and one of or an explanation of time and one of the examples was um, a the way that the doctor describes it so which is basically the title of the segment that it's all we believe all the time you want me and so I will link to that in the show notes it was it's a really short clip but um, it's interesting to hear and yeah so that's it for wibbly wobbly timey wimey and that means that's it for the podcast i feel like this went by really quickly whereas last time i just went on forever um i guess about video games <laughs> oh speaking of video games um i did buy we did buy a wii u and we got um mario kart for it and we also um got a free download with mario kart so we downloaded um super mario brothers which is the basics um like side scrolling game that was on the original nintendo and the snes and all all of that stuff so 
we have a Wii U now, so next step is PlayStation 4, and then after that, Xbox One, eventually, somewhere down the road. So, um, yeah, that is it for today. Quick show, um, social media stuff. I am Eliana Nits on Ravelry, and, oh, and show notes can be found at knitsandstuff.wordpress.com. There's a Ravelry group, so you can join it if you want, and... I am unperfect529 on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, etc. Um, my Twitter is just hooked up to my Instagram pretty much. So whatever is on Instagram just gets forwarded to Twitter. But whichever social media you use, you can follow me if you want. And um, I think that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in two. Oh, one one more thing. Um, I also recorded um, a demo video of myself trying to wind uh, my singles from my drop spindle to a cardboard bobbin with a hand drill. So I will um, edit that and post it to the podcast, video cast stuff. <laughs> um, soon so it'll probably be sometime this week hopefully and then i don't know if you guys saw but i posted a mini sewed of my stash last week or this past week yeah i guess it's last week also so mini sewed yay um yeah so okay that's it finally <laughs> and i will see you guys in two weeks okay bye